Hi there guys and finally, finally welcome back to another video. I just want to apologise for the massive break in videos. Um, I've been busy with work for starters, but I've been having a massive issue with my editing software. I don't know what happened. Yeah, it was just, it's been a nightmare. And in the process of this, some of my footage has actually been corrupt. The video I was supposed to be posting now is most of it's corrupt there's bits and bobs of it that work but the majority of it is just unusable and it doesn't really make any sense so i thought i'd do this bit at the beginning of this video to explain it so before the bit that you're watching after my ramble is last week now the week before that or maybe even the week before that again um i drove to work absolutely a-okay got to work's car park went to start the van again before i went to work to move it or something and could not get it to work so i had to leave it done a 10 hour shift finished it like 10 o'clock i think it was that night 10 or 11. couldn't get the van to work and it was too late so i had a kip in the back the next morning when i had a look first thing in the morning works car park had a look at it thought it was the fuel well there's two timing belts essentially, one for like the cam, the crank, the normal one, and then there's one on the other side which is for the fuel pump. Now I thought it was the tensioner for that because there's a video, if I can find it I will put it in, um, you can see the tensioner, it's just flapping about, so it's not keeping tension and I thought ah oh, there we go. So managed to get it to catch and work enough so I can limp it back to Jonathan from the doghouse. He had a look at it, said well, he thought it was a tensioner as well from the videos I showed him. And he took the, the belt off, which is here, and actually turns out, hopefully you guys can see, I'm missing half the teeth off the inside of it. They just completely sheared off and it's smooth. And on closer inspection, I really hope that you can see this, but on closer inspection, you can actually see you might not be able to but all of the remainder of these teeth are literally about to like snap off and come well look there you go and literally just so it yeah that's the issue so that was a massive palaver i did film that but unfortunately the footage was corrupt and obviously unusable and that leads us to now. So I will let you watch the rest of this video and then I'll be doing the outro because I forgot to do that and you'll understand why when you watch the video. And then we're almost up to date on videos. Not really, but anyway, I'm gonna let you go and watch the actual video. Hi there guys and welcome back to another video. Sorry it's been a little bit of a while since I've done anything. I've been having a lot of issue with my editing software and I think the last video, if I've managed to post it, which is the one just before this, where this van broke and didn't work, that was a couple of weeks ago now, and I've just been having issues after issues of trying to get it done and edited and uploaded, so hopefully I've managed to get that done. Sorry if I haven't, but I'll get into that story later, because now I'm actually going to be working on Tom's van. Haven't actually seen much content on that for a while because life and work and everything getting in the way. But we're going to start getting our teeth sunk into that. And first of all, fitting these. Now these are six inch Falconers, 900 pound rating. Now the reason we chose that is because it is a docker and it hasn't got a lot of weight in the back and never will be carrying a lot of weight in the back. So we're going to try them on 900. If we need a little bit more we'll get the thousand pounders but from people I've spoken to that should be a good weight. We will find out. I'm not going to go in depth about changing the springs because you've seen that so many times. But I will do a little bit of an overview and then later on in the video there's a few bits I need to get done to this van. But... I just want to get cracked on with getting this done. It shouldn't be too much of a hard job. Get this thing jacked up, get that wheel off, and yeah, pull this spring out. That's a standard spring, so we're going to be putting in, obviously, those nice six-inch Falconers. Easy enough. That bottom bolt out, drop the arm, get this out, put the sixes in, put it all back together again. But, as I said, I won't be doing too much 
filming because you've seen this done way too many times. But this is currently how it is sat now. So let's see what it looks like after. And welcome to a little bit later randomly. Now, the little bit of footage you've seen at the beginning of this, that was obviously us lowering Tom's van. And went really well, actually. Um, all the bolts weren't seized. Went really well. Um, looked really good. But we did have a slight issue with one of the bolts breaking. Now, this is not relevant to this part of the video. Um, this is actually the next day, I think. Did we do it yesterday? What day was it yesterday? What day is it today? Yeah, yesterday we did that. Today, we have a new issue. Let it eat some. Right, so this is now the next day, and I was just dropped the kids back, and just driving down, and I could smell a smell, and I thought, what is that? That's horrific. So, got to the roundabout, which is literally just behind me, and as I come off the roundabout, I had that... Apparently this is a racetrack. Um, I had that distinctive doo -doo 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 -doo, and I thought I have no way just had a blowout. So I managed to pull myself over on the side of the road. There's that roundabout. Come off of there, come round here to this. I have had an absolute mare. So this was a brand spanking new tire. And it is now Completely de-beaded. Yeah, I'm now stranded. So I have actually just phoned up a mobile tire fitter. And they are on their way to me as we speak. Absolutely extortionate, the price. 150 quid. Well, actually it's 180 quid, but we won't go there. So he's on his way to me. He will be anything from 45 minutes to about an hour and a half. So... I've got me a nice warm can of fizzy and I'm going to sit here and cry but I thought you know what let's share it let's get on with it so I'm going to get that tire off and get that dealt with at least when he gets here it's already off and he can just mount the tire so then I can go back because the time is now 7.50 in fact what time did I call him Luckily enough, I've got charging in here because my phone was getting proper flat. Right, so I first called him at, well, half past seven. I had to pay a deposit. There we go, 7.45. He said there'd be 45 minutes. So that takes it to half past eight, roughly, give or take. So, yeah, I'm going to drink my warm pop. I might as well get that tire off for him, get a picture for Instagram and... I guess I'll report back once I'm a little bit more skinter. Well, I'm sorry for the road noise. Really, I'm sorry. But, managed to get the tyre off. Absolute shred city down here. Stinks like arsehole as well. But, this is what we're looking like. Tyres completely folded over at the bottom. Found the culprit. Part of the culprit. That edge looks battered. Tire is completely folded in. And there's the other side of the tire there. Oh, amazing. But now I've just got to wait for the tire man to come and get me. <sighs> Not quite how I expected to finish off my day. I, when I looked underneath the van, it's probably a picture up on Instagram, if I remember I'll try and put it in here. When I put that up on the jack and had a quick look underneath it, I could sort of half see it, it looked a bit like that. And I thought that that was my alloy, buckled and absolutely mangled. Luckily it's not, it's the other side of the tyre. And from what I can see of it, it looks like it's folded over as I was driving on it and it hasn't touched the outer lip or the inner lip. 
Thank Christ. Look at this. Jesus Christ. You can literally see where I've been. It's like bits of rubber. Anyway, I'm gonna stop babbling. Let you know what something else happens, I guess. This is fun. Well, tyre's no longer here, but a tyre man is. What an absolute palaver this is. It's now like half nine, and as you'll probably be able to see now, no tyre, no tyre guy. Brilliant. So what's happened is, is he was having a struggle. I don't know how much of this I've already filmed or whatnot, but he's tried to take the tyre off and that inner bit that's like the little bit that's left over is on the inside of the, the wheel is, it won't come off at all. He's tried absolutely everything. I've got an angle grinder in the back and I said, look, got a plug, we'll cut it off. No plug in the back of the van to be able to do it. So he's had to drive it all the way back to his place which is about a 20 minute drive so that you can cut it off and then he's gonna come put the tire on and then come back. So I'm, I'm now stuck here. Um, I did explain to him I didn't have my bank card with me and I've now got to phone the office and they won't answer their phone to make a payment. So I'm now stuck on the side of a road with no will and he's disappeared with it. No way of paying him, no way of contacting him. I kind of feel like I can get stitched up a bit here. Jesus Christ. Um, I don't quite know what to say now. I'm going to try and get hold of them. And I'll let you know what happens as it happens, I guess. What a palaver. What a that, brand new tyre as well, mine. That's, this is ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to go. See you in a bit. Right, I almost forgot to film this bit, but... It's now 10 to 11 and he's just been back. Bless him, he's come back in his personal car. He finished it like nine o'clock. I think he said eight or nine. Went back, cut the rest of the tire off, put the new tire on and then drove back here to drop the tire off to put it back on. It's all on now. Bless him, lovely chap. But I'm gonna keep it short and sweet because I want to get back because it's nearly 11 o'clock and I kind of want to get to bed because I've got work in the morning. So yeah. Not quite the uh, evening I expected to have, but take her off with a smooth. No one got hurt. All fun and games. Anyway, I'm going to start babbling and I'm going to get myself gone. So I'll probably pick this up tomorrow and finish this video off. But anyway, thank you very much. Have fun. See you in a bit. Well, there you go. There was that little situation done. Um, pretty sure that was last week or maybe even been the week before the whole tire situation um it's all fitted it's all good it's all gravy lower tom's van and because of everything that went on i didn't manage to show the rest of it i will try and put a picture up on the screen so you can actually see the the before and after of it and yes yeah, it's, it's dramatic tom said he has obviously he's driven it quite a bit and he said it's like night and day he does need better shocks because the shocks that are on there are uh, not quite up to what he needs but here's one of his old shocks that we took off and the bolt snapped on the inside of it there you go you can just about see there's the bolt on the inside we have drilled it out and we will be removing the rest of that i have got removal probably not that one i have got removal tools to be able to get that out so literally once i finish recording that that's going to be my job, get that bolt out of there, because that's actually quite a good shock. But I am trying to get Tom to get the Gaz Extra Short Adjustables, because they're fantastic, absolutely amazing. And considering he's got obviously got the docker with no weight on the back, the adjustability on the back will benefit him massively. But that's that, that's all up to date. There is another video that I will be editing to get up very soon after this one um which is another issue that just randomly presented itself for no apparent reason and that was his own little uh shenanigans but i'll leave that for that video there's a couple more other jobs that need to get done i need to do that power steering because i think it's the lines that are broke because it's 
slightly leaking and I'm pretty sure it's out of one of the lines where I've because I'm so low I'm sort of like catching it and I think I've just sort of tore a hole in it or something so that needs to get done I need to do my track rod ends because I'm going through tires too quickly at the front because of the toe um so I need to get that done there's another job I need to get done. So I've got quite a bit I need to get done. And I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying the, the shenanigans that are going with having a T4. Obviously you've got Tom's van that hopefully he's going to start getting more done on soon. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling because you really don't need to listen to me ramble. I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody for being patient and the, the massive support. I know I'm still a very small channel, but it's nice to see that you guys are reaching out to me and... It's just lovely. It's very nice to see. Thank you very much. But anyway, I'm going to get myself gone. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for putting up with my dumbass. And as always, take it easy.